So this is a classic computing unplugged activity called card flip magic. Uh, the original idea is that you do it with 36 uh, double-sided cards on a table, but not everybody's got access to 36 double-sided cards. So I've simulated it as a web page. Um, you present it as a sort of a mind reading activity. So you say to the student, OK, I've laid out here a grid of five by five cards, which you can turn over and arrange in any pattern you like. So they can do that on the web page version by um, clicking so they can arrange the grid as you like and then you say oh well to make it harder I'm going to add an extra row and an extra column and to do that on the web page you just need to press the space bar or to tap with two fingers if you're using a, a touchscreen device and it'll add some extra cards around the edge now hopefully what the student won't notice to begin with is that the extra cards have been added in such a way that on each row and each column there's an even number of black rectangles or black cards. So then you say to the student, uh, turn a card over while I'm looking away and I'll be able to tell you which card they've turned over. So you close your eyes or turn around and they turn one over, uh, maybe this one, and then you turn around and you have a look at the card and maybe scratch your chin and ham it up a bit um, and then you say it's that card there pointing at the one that they turn over and you can identify which card it is because it'll be the card in the row that has an odd number of black squares and in the column that has an odd number of black squares so that uh, third row down has three black squares and the third column across has five black uh, well, rectangles so um, we know that the at the intersection that's the one that's been turned over. So this is the technique that computers use to identify errors in transmission so if there's some electrical interference when you're sending your email over the internet and any of the bits get changed the com receiving computer can identify that that's happened. If you want to make that connection a bit more clearly then I've created a second version of the uh, the page just with zeros and ones on there so that they can recognize that their bits and the black and the white correspond with zeros and ones so you can um, click on the card and it'll turn them over and it works in exactly the same way you press the space key gives you the extra um, rows and columns and then they can turn one over and you can identify which one it is because it's the one with the odd number of ones so effectively we're using even parity on the version of the page with the zeros and ones if you want to look at the help, uh, you can press the F1 key, or if you're using a tablet touchscreen device, you can touch the screen with three fingers simultaneously.